Welcome to Boss Talks with Mosina Ahmed. With over 50 plus thought provoking episodes, today we dive into the world of AI and innovation. Let's hear what some of our thought leaders have to say. Please tell us what are your views on AI and innovation? That's really an essential element to consider according to my experience. What for me will be key in this revolution with AI is the human being's behavior while we are leveraging the power of AI. So currently, I have noticed that both in the US and in Europe and probably in the rest of the world, it will come soon. The notion of AI is constantly associated with ethics and mm -hmm. risk assessment. Ethics and risks should be the key leading themes in the use of emerging technologies and their concrete application in commercial activities. Mm -hmm. Why I'm saying this, it's because a Above all, we need to remember that human beings are in command of the mm -hmm. AI revolution and they are the ones to drive it with care and thoughtfulness and not the other way around. When I first lived in my house, the best thing I could do is hold my phone and turn off the lights and turn on the lights. Right now, I, I can talk to my phone and ask garage door to open like with, with nothing, just I'm driving and say, hey, garage door open and will open. And like this is in two years, so I can't imagine where we're going. I used to dream about these things, you know. I have a very busy life. One of my dreams was I wanted to make the salad and ask a, a machine beside me to tell me more about whatever things happening in Australia, for instance. So I'm finding a machine beside me just telling me what to do, robot. And I'm turning on my TV, turning off my AC and everything. So yeah, smart homes are there and we can't imagine where we're going. We know AI is going to touch every aspect of our life. The books are written by people who had experience and who are able to impart knowledge, transfer knowledge to the reader. Over a period of experience, they were taken from other books, they were taken from other publications, etc., and created a book on a topic. What AI does, we look at the historical data, we find the pattern, and that's the reason we put a world of intelligence, so the artificial intelligence, because in our case, when we learn, we have we also have cognitive, th cognitive thinking, where we have emotional thinking, where we can you know look at the you know decision making from a different side mm -hmm. whereas here it's a purely digital is it matching not matching if it's matching how much it is if it's not matching how much it is not that's all it is mm -hmm. and again the fear that ai is going to take the jobs no if ai had to take out the jobs you know the ai would you know even from the calculator age but what has happened is at every stage we have optimized our time, we have optimized our resources, we optimize ourselves so that we are beginning giving us our time to be more innovative. For example, you in the uh, 80s, computers came in. There used to be bank strikes in India saying that you are going to take our jobs. Today, if you look at it, the number of people employed in banks are far, far more than those were in the 80s. And everyone is using online system, everyone using digital system. And the amount of business transaction has grown exponentially. My take on, you know, AI, if, if AI takes the, all the jobs, then where is humanity? If there's no humanity, where is AI? This is amazing because, you know, AI, it is taking over many things and people need to innovate themselves and adapt themselves and uh, probably upskill themselves to use AI and become smarter. Because if uh, human beings will become smarter, that is when AI is valuable.